This is my eight-year-old Corgi Gatsby. He is trying out dog mode in our new Tesla Model Y. In dog mode, you're able to leave your dog in the car when you leave, and the car will keep the same temperature by air conditioner or heater. This is the first time I'm leaving Gatsby in the car. I want to get a dog's experience of the feature, and I also want to see what Gatsby does while I'm gone. Does he worry or bark? We'll see. Bye, Gatsby. We'll check back with Gatsby in a little bit. But first, Sean comes over this afternoon to check out Gatsby in my new car. Wow! <laughs> he already saw it in the last vlog, but there it is. So nice. I really like the color he chose too. Uh, like I originally got the charcoal gray one, but then I changed it. So <laughs> it was a surprise to me. I thought you went with the charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> and then it showed up as blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, vroom vroom. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with Gatsby! Hey Gatsby! <laughs> he looks comfy though. Gatsby, are you getting used to the car now? How many games do you have? Oh, I don't arc know. Arcade? I haven't really played anything on here. Wow. They have Fallout, Stardew Valley, <laughs> Backgammon. Download are there game more things? Oh, there's theater. <gasps> you can watch the TikTok. Oh. I don't know if Gatsby likes that. He's like, what? <laughs> he hates it, he hates it. Okay, well it's time to check back in with Gatsby and dog mode. Looks like the cabin is staying at around a nice and comfortable 68 degrees. So far, things look good. I did do a little research on dog mode and I thought I could answer a few questions even I had about this feature. What happens if the battery runs out? So, first off, the car will not allow you to enable dog mode if the battery charge is below 20%. I don't believe you are meant to leave the dog inside the car for extended periods of time, but the battery consumption of dog mode is relatively low, especially when compared to driving the car. There is also a camera in the cabin. It would be nice to be able to use it to check in on your dog and maybe speak to him or her through the mobile app just to make sure everything's okay. Maybe a feature for a future update. Anyway, it looks like Gatsby is enjoying his time, keeping on the lookout for me. It's about 70 degrees outside and I parked in the sun, but he looks comfortable and so far, not a peep. And now, here's more of Sean's reaction. Sean, you're gonna try driving it up here, right? Oh, if you want. Is everyone buckled up? We are. Guess me, you, you buckled? <laughs> Sean is driving. He's all worried. Ouch, guys, we don't worry. I'm not a bad driver. <laughs> so quiet, other than the air condition. Yeah, the air conditioning is kinda okay, loud. Let's turn off the fan really fast. Okay, now it's silent. It is really silent. Anyway, so that's Sean checking out the car. What are your thoughts, Sean? It's nice. I, I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like a major upgrade from my car that I had because I had, hadn't gotten a new car in like, yeah, someone said like over 10 years. So that's... that was my only car that I had. Yeah, so. it's a huge upgrade from your old car. <laughs> Don't worry, Sean and I go to Target later today, so stay tuned. Back to that cute face. It looks like Gatsby's interested in the action outside. I parked in an outdoor lot. Look at all those cars zooming past. Gatsby is such a good boy. Just patiently waiting for me. I took off his seatbelt and harness, so he's free to move about the car, but it looks like he's content staying on that dog booster seat. He can see everything from there. <laughs> it looks like he decided to take a look outside his window. So cute! Here I come! Gatsby sees me! Thank you so much for waiting for me, dude! Shall we go to the park? Good morning, Gatsby! The ear tubes go down their cheek on the side like this, so that's why he wants it done. He's like, maybe my ears are itchy. Yeah, does that feel good? Okay. 
feel better now? Recently, Gatsby has been like breathing really, really heavily. <laughs> I got it on camera a few times, and I sent it to my vet. Gatsby has allergies. I have a lot of um, air purifiers in my apartment, and I was like, but I have these on. They were set to like automatic, so they weren't that strong. I just turned up the air purifier, then all of a sudden, he stopped sneezing. Great news for you, Gatsby. Right now, I am headed over to visit my friend. This is Johnny. <laughs> I've never used like a foam thing before. Here it is. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Shiny already. Johnny has a two bucket system. After you wipe it, then you put it in this bucket to rinse out all the dirt before you put it back in there. All the residual dirt. That's, that's we, after cleaning. That's what we didn't put back on the car. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at these sham wows. Are you wowed? I am. I am uh, sham wowed. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can use this one. We should try that one out. We're gonna try this Steve White. The top is so shiny now. It's like a mirror. It is. It's so shiny now. What? Beautiful. It's so shiny. I feel like you just got it a few weeks ago. <laughs> See? Usually in you... most cars, when I sit in the back, my head hits the top. The seats recline a little bit. I think I it's already reclined though. I think. Oh, what? Hey, that's nice. Johnny's gonna try driving the Tesla for the first time. Cool. Yeah, it's just instant. Everything's just right there. When I walked up to the car, after you had pulled off to the side of the road, uh -huh. it felt like I was walking up to a computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at his. Oh, it looks pretty good already. I think Johnny's car is a little bit dirtier. Yeah. We're gonna do a cold start comparison. Get it? <laughs> Here's Johnny's car. That looks pretty clean. It does feel like we're in like a um, tank or something. A boat? <laughs> You're burning so many dinosaurs right now. No. We're gonna grab food, by the way. We're going to smoke eaters. Ah, I've never been there. Right now I'm uh, doing some A-B testing on water. Test A is with, without ice. Oh. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, test B here is with ice. Mmm, a little bit colder. Oh. Johnny's pouring his LaCroix into the water. So it's like even less. Flavor. <laughs> Diluting the flavor. Like, there's, there's too much like, flavor. There's too much tangerine flavor in the LaCroix. <laughs> mm. Oh, so much better. Much better. I'm so excited because we're getting wings. I haven't had wings in like a long time. <laughs> Perfect. Do you do the wing pack? Uh, no, I don't think I do. I don't. I just eat it. <laughs> you grab the wing and then you twist it. It's like pretty clean. Oh my gosh, I've been missing wings for so long. It's good. It tastes like celery. Oh, mm -hmm. we survived. We did it, you guys. Made about the same. I used more napkins. Oh, that's true. I, I was worse on the environment. <laughs> and you used two cups. And I used gas in my car. Oh. <laughs> oh, the car looks so nice and clean now. <laughs> Level one! Okay, level two! Oh my god! Six candles. Oh my god! All the way there. Okay, come. Knock over 10 <laughs>
plushes! He just made his own path. He mowed through all the plushies. You guys, the tank is looking so bad right now. <laughs> Take a look. It's just like covered in algae. Right now, I'm gonna be doing a water change. But since the aquarium is getting actually kind of old, I think it's eight years old, the rock inside of the aquarium um, needs to be replaced with new rock. All the bacteria that lives in the live rock pretty much is gone. <laughs> and that is why I'm having all of this algal blooms and stuff going on in the tank. My friend is gonna be coming in next week to service the tank. But before then, I'm gonna have to clean it because it looks really bad right now. <laughs> so first off, I scraped off all the algae from the glass and tried to suck up as much as possible through the siphon to remove it from the tank. Oh, uh... <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I mean, there's some junk flying in it, but wow, that is so much cleaner already. Nowhere near as bad as before. Lin, so Jisei got you some stuff from Hawaii. What do you think? Is that the good kind? You want to try it out? Can you shake? Can you shake? Okay, here you go. Right now, I am headed off to the gym. I'm here with my buddy Alex. We're What's gonna up? hit some <laughs> chest today. For today's chest day, I thought I'd go over workouts for hitting upper chest. We started off with incline dumbbell bench press. By setting the bench to an incline, it targets the upper chest. As usual, we want to focus on squeezing the chest muscle to activate it. Next, we moved on to guillotine barbell press. Notice the barbell is going above the upper chest, even the neck area. It's important to have a spotter and go lighter with this exercise, but boy, do we feel it afterwards. We hit some incline presses with the machine. For machines where you can't control the incline on the back, try changing the seat height to activate different parts of the chest. Next, we hit chest flies. Alex showed me this variation where you can lean forward at the start to get a greater range of motion. This machine hits lower chest. You can tell by the placement of our arms. We're not pressing above our heads. And we finished with some cable crossovers to hit all around chest. And that was our chest workout routine. Ta -da. Okay. Before we head back home, I just got some really good news from my local t-shirt printer. He said that he got the shirts in and he was able to print them out. These are the Year of the Corgi t-shirts. So I'm gonna go and pick them up right now. Look, Gatsby, it's the Year of the Corgi shirt. It says Corgi in Chinese right over there. So these sold out in under a day last time I released them. So I'm doing a very, very limited restock of them. Check it out. We also got our Corgi stargazing keychains. They finally arrived. It's double-sided and they look so awesome. So those are now available at corgionfleet.com along with the restock of this shirt. I got these tumblers here. I stuck Gatsby's sticker on it, check it out. That's pretty cute, right? I wish I had ice cubes. I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for these other ones. I think I'm gonna use this one over here. I think that one looks pretty cool. Ta-da! like my friends or like relatives over, we'll know which whose drink is whose. This is like one of my favorite stickers. Does that look good? Gatsby got all the treats out of this ball. This is the tricky treat ball. Look at him. He's like, oh my gosh. I would highly suggest getting this ball. I'll put the Amazon link in the description below. It's really good for all dogs except for dogs who like to chew things. The special thing about this is that the hole here, there's like a tube that goes all the way in, which makes it like really hard to get the treats out. These long pieces like this. It's just freeze dried beef liver. Look at his face. He's just like, oh my gosh. Are you ready for this, Gatsby? Yeah. Good boy. Go. He just goes around like this and it takes him about like at least half an hour to get all these out. And then he's like, oh, about to bring it back to the other room. So, <laughs> we're gonna go to Target. Woo! Do you have to get something, Sean? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What does that mean? I think it means stepmom. <gasps> Wait, but why do they sell so many of these? Oh, Cabana Boy, refill, please. What? 
These are very specific. Very Enjoy the journey. <laughs> this is so like in your face. Ooh. Like who would buy this silverware set? Yeah, this one comes with like a salad fork, a yeah. main course fork. They don't eat salad forks with this one. I guess not. That's for the people that are really wild. Sean was looking for the cookie dough M&Ms. Yeah. The Easter stuff, we found it. It's over here. Oh, here they are. <gasps> oh, it's a crunchy cookie? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. the share size. I think you know what you're gonna have to do this with that one. This is the share size too. No, this is sharing size. This is the Come share on, size. Come on, it's the same thing. <laughs> I bet they're good. Yo, Yo, do you like peeps? No. Do you guys like peeps? I I don't like it at all. I do like this donut shop Keurig coffee though. Oh. Reese's is becoming the um Yeah, the name of Easter. The East yeah, synonymous with Easter. Easter? Reese's. Yeah, it used to be Peeps. The Corgi edition. Corgi. Why did they make the Corgi do the inappropriate oh. stuff? Well, Gatsby would not like this game, especially if it farts. What's that noise your dog went to do? And why is it green? That's not healthy. A, B, C, D, E, F, U. Oh, which one should I get? Celebi? Celebi? I'll get the Celebi one. Okay. Why can you switch him from the Asian guy to the white guy? What? That never happened in the movie. Just your bazooka guy? Look how expensive it is. $20 for this? This one's even worse. Oh, for $20. It has far less detail than this one. That's, that's, that's like... snake eyes. Look at that shiny car. We're gonna try the M&Ms right now. Have Smoke you guys them. had it? They're very round. It's like not even an M&M. Yeah. It just tastes like cookie dough. It tastes like frosting to me. Kind of does, yeah. You can open it. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's see. Okay, what did he get? Nope. That was it? Yep. What is that? This is a... Uh, oh, Delmize. Del We're gonna say bye to Sean. Yeah. See ya. See ya next time. <laughs> so I was watching this uh, video clip. <laughs> Ever since then, I was like, I kind of want lasagna. <laughs> I saw this recipe on Give Me Some Oven. I'll put the link in the description below. She made a lasagna soup, which sounds kind of weird, but the pictures look so good. So I thought we would try making it today. And we're gonna start by boiling some hot water. So to prepare, what we're going to be adding is ground Italian sausage, a white onion, and a bell pepper. We just need it so that it can fit inside of this thing here. And we just put it on the top like this, and ta-da! Wow, that's going to make a lot of soup. We're going to put one tablespoon of olive oil, or whatever I feel like it, whatever one tablespoon is going to be. Oh, it smells so good. They always say that you want to like really make the water really salty. We're gonna do five cloves of garlic. Red pepper flakes. There we go. Perfect! One cup of white wine. And we're gonna be using some beef stock. Fire roasted diced tomatoes and crushed tomatoes. Italian seasoning. One bay leaf. Why do they even put bay leaves in this? You can't even use this. How are you gonna shake the bay leaf out? Like, <laughs> okay. I'm putting all the bay leaves inside, you guys. And then we're gonna bring this to a simmer. I would have to say this was very easy. If this is all that we do, this doesn't really seem like a lasagna soup. This just seems like tomato soup. Should I add some more bay leaf too? <laughs> Mozzarella and Parmesan. Whenever we make soups, I'm always like, where did the onions go? They all disappear. And we have some basil too. Fresh basil. Ta-da! That looks pretty good. Let's see if this tastes like lasagna or if I'm gonna be crying like that girl. I would say lasagna, no. The ricotta cheese is like one of the most important things for lasagna. It's not here. It tastes like a really good tomato soup. I would give this like a seven just because it's not lasagna. 
So in the last vlog, somebody wrote in the comments that I look exactly like this UFC fighter named um, Johnny Walker. This guy over here, does that look like me? I see it, like the cheekbones and the forehead. Some of my friends are like, I don't see it. I sent it to my friend, I was like, we do have the same knuckles. <laughs> How do you feel Gatsby? How are you doing? It's time for us to head to bed, but before we do, I thought that I would give you guys today's secret word to put in the comments to let me know that you got to the end of the video. Today's secret word is shiny. Make sure to check out Corgi on fleek.com. I just restocked the year of the Corgi t-shirts, which sold out in under a day last time. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Hey Cassie, check out this awesome fan. You guys, it is time for Gatsby and I to play our new favorite game with you. Were you paying attention? We are gonna show you a series of clips and then 